Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and from today we are going to start a new video series and it's called Practical Apache Admin. And the good news is it's uh, all based on CentOS 8, the latest CentOS system. Uh, and we are going to cover a lot of things in this video series from very basic to advanced level. So just keep uh, looking for new videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash Linux King and Also visit and like us on our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Linux King 77 So without a further ado, let's start uh, before we step into Apache or start its configuration or Go into its detail. We need to install CentOS 8 So for this very first video, we are going to install CentOS 8 so for all of you who are not familiar with CentOS 8 and how it's installed, this is a good chance uh, to learn something. So I have already installed, uh, you can see here, Oracle VM Virtual Manager or VirtualBox. And I have already downloaded our distro from centos.org. And I would recommend to download from Torrent, it's easier. And this is DVD1, you can see CentOS 8-x86, you can download this. Okay, once you have downloaded this, what you need to do is you need to go to File, uh, sorry, click on New, and you can create it CentOS 8, click Next, uh, give it at least 2 GB RAM, 2048. Click next. Okay, create a virtual disk right now. Create video image is fine. Dynamically allocated is fine. I'm going to give it 20 GB because it's CentOS 8. And the ISO image is 7 GB. So now once we are done with this, what we need to do is we need to make few changes. I am going to go to our First thing is I'm going to go to this uh, optical drive you can see here and I'm going to give the CentOS image which I just downloaded and it's not here. I'm going to add it and it is available in our CentOS 8. Okay, here it is. Okay, and you can see it's 6.65 GB. Once it's done, I have chosen it. Okay, let's go to our networks. And from here, I'm going to use a bridge adapter with my wireless network. Okay, so once it's, it's done, I'm going to click on start. And now I am going to use install CentOS system. Okay, we can minimize this virtual box. And let's wait. So the installer has started. And now we will be prevent, uh, presented with the graphical user interface and over here I'm going to select English US United States okay so you can see here the software its installation is source local media we are going to use this later but first need to give the disk okay this is the disk it's already selected click on done once it's done uh, we are going to go to network portion over here. I'm going to give it to uh, Name my machine. It's dragon.itpings.com and I'm going to uh, Give this machine uh, the Ethernet. I'm going to uh, Like start it and you can see it already got the IP address once it's done click on apply and then click on done Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to software selection and over here I'm going to use minimal, minimal install. Okay, just remember 
Like CentOS 7, you cannot install right now or download the minimal installation. Uh, you need to install the full DVD of CentOS 8. And from there, you can select minimal install just like uh, I did. Okay, once this is done, click on done. And then we click on begin installation. Okay, I'm going to create a root user. with a very basic password done I'm going to create a user and it's going to be user Salman and make this user the administrator and I'm going to use the same password Okay, that's funny. Okay, now we have installed, uh, like we have successfully uh, set up the root user password and the user password. So now we wait uh, for the installation to be completed. And I think it will be completed in couple of minutes because you can see that 375 packages have already been installed now it's in configuring the kernel core okay and I think I can pause the video if you like so let's do that all right guys you can see the installation is complete and now we are going to reboot the system Click on reboot and from devices I am going to remove the device force and mount and I am going to reset the machine and now if all goes well we are going to be using our virtual disk to boot the system and there we have it I'm going to use the root to log in okay perfect and our internet should be working as well we can ping Google and you can see we have a working internet system and host name is there DNS should be working as well so you can see the DNS is also resolving perfect so now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, disable CentOS uh, sorry SE Linux in it Vim etc SE Linux and config Sorry, Vim is not there, so let's use yum y update to update uh, our uh, latest CentOS 8 so that we can uh, use the latest packages. And one thing uh, is after you complete the installation, few packages which I do recommend is Vim, wget, uh, they are the most important packages after you install and once we are done with these packages uh, we will start our Apache configuration all right guys so then like the upgradation is complete and now we will be using yum hyphen y install vim And we will also install wget. I can use that, like I can install them in the same command, uh, but wget, okay? These are two important packages, what I would uh, recommend after the fresh install. And then what we need to do is we are going to disable SE Linux for a while. And uh, 
and we will enable it later on okay so but at the moment what I'm going to do is disabled okay And we can use we can create a touch. This is so SE Linux can rewrite its um, configuration, and we are going to reboot the system. So that it's uh, that's it, guys. So in our very next video, we will start our very first video of our Apache practical uh, admin. So thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel.